So, you want to learn how to reveal your title in a cinematic kind of way? Well, then you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the cinematic title reveal in DaVinci Resolve, but then take it one step further and actually have objects passing in front of the title as if it's part of your scene. All that stuff coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you want to level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into this. I'm going to show you two different things. The first thing that I'm going to show you is how to make the basic title reveal and the disappear because they're effectively the same thing. Then the second thing we're going to do is take it one step further by having your text look like it's part of the environment, briefly be covered up by things passing by, but there's one thing that you need and that is a clip. And this clip has to have something or someone moving across the frame. So it can be something like a car driving by or a person walking by or even something like this, your hand moving across the screen and then the text just pops up right after that. So it doesn't have to be super complicated. You just need enough movement for that text to appear. That's all. So once you have that clip in DaVinci Resolve, you can just go ahead and drag that onto your timeline and then make any necessary adjustments to your clip. So in the case of my clip, it starts with a car halfway throughout the frame. And I really don't want that. So I want to go ahead and delete everything to the left of this playhead. So to cut it down, I'm going to go all the way to the beginning of the clip and just drag it to my playhead and then just move it back. So once you've got your clip the way you want it, go ahead and jump into the Fusion tab. Now that we're in the Fusion tab, we have our normal setup here. We have our media in and our media out. Think of our media in as like the beginning and our media out as the end. But instead of a whole timeline, this is just the beginning and the end of this one clip right here. So now we just have to move through our clip right here and find that object that passes in front of our frame and go to the end of it. So right here's the end of the car and I want it to reveal the text. So to make that happen, we have to first add in our text. So go up here onto the hot bar, grab the text plus and drag it down over this line and you'll see that the line turns blue and just drop it. So now you can see that our text is added in using a merge node. And if for some reason you don't have a merge node, just go right here and add in your own merge node, super easy. Just drag it in, same thing. So now with your text node selected, just go ahead and type something in. You can bring up the size a little like this. You can also use these arrows to adjust the text around. So for this shot, I want the bumper to reveal it. So I need to make sure that my text is in line with the bumper. You can also change the color because why not, right? So once you've got your text the way you want it, now we're gonna make this car reveal it. So with your text node selected, go over here to the polygon mask and click on it. It's gonna add in this polygon node and you can just go over here and invert it so you can see your text. So now with the pen tool, we're just gonna draw a box around our text like this. If for some reason the pen tool isn't showing up, make sure that you're on the polygon mask and that this pen tool is selected. And then you can just go ahead and draw your square around it. Now you can see their text disappeared. So go ahead and deselect invert and it'll show up one more time. Next, you wanna click and highlight all of these points right here and actually move the mask off. And if you need some more room in this window, you can just go ahead and bring up the single viewer right here. And you can also zoom in and out of your clip by holding control and using your scroll wheel. So just align your mask with the end of this object right here. And make sure your mask is really tight. And if you need to add another point in here because of a curve or something like that, you can just click on the line and actually just add in a point like that. And you can also use these handles to manipulate the line to matching the shape better. Now we need to animate this mask forward. And this mask is already auto keyframed. So any form of movement we make in future frames is gonna be automatically tracked. So you don't have to worry about hitting a diamond button first. It just does it for you. Now just move a few frames forward in your clip using your right arrow key or whatever keybind you have set up. So for example, I use this Razer gamepad and it has a ton of different buttons on it and I have all of my keybinds literally at my fingertips. But if any of you guys are interested in what I use, I'll put the link in the description for it and also probably a few that are just cheaper. So now we need this mask to move forward. Just move a few frames forward and then highlight your mask again and drag it over to the end of your car. And now we can see the title being revealed. I also personally like to soften the edges up just a little. I don't wanna to go too extreme because the reality is if you do, 
you're gonna see the text in the car and it's gonna look pretty crappy. So I usually bring the softness up to about 0.01 or something like that. Now, once you've done that, move ahead a few more frames and highlight the mask again and just bring it over again. And every time you move the mask over, just make sure that it fits pretty well to the car because you don't want a sloppy mask. You want this effect to look good. Now just keep moving forward a few frames and adjusting your mask until your text is fully revealed. So once you've finally revealed all of your text, this is what it's gonna look like. So now if you want your text to disappear, you can effectively do the same thing, but the other way. So instead of moving the mask onto the text to reveal the text, you're gonna move the mask off the text to make it go away. So now to make your text look like it's really part of the scene, we're gonna actually have it be covered up by this car coming in right here. So to make this happen, we're gonna click on our polygon one and then go over to the polygon mask again and just add in another one. So now we have polygon one and polygon two. Under polygon two, you're gonna to go to paint mode and instead of merge, you're gonna to go to subtract. So what that means is this second mask that we make is gonna make the text disappear instead of up here. So instead of drawing a square around the text again, what we wanna do instead is find a frame where this car is in the center of the frame, just like this. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace this car with the mask because remember this mask subtracts it takes away so if we don't want our text to be there and we want it to seem like the car is moving in front of it we need to trace the car so under the polygon mask 2 with your pen tool selected and the object fully in frame trace the car as best as possible so now once you finish the mask, you'll see that the car looks like it's in front of the text. Now all we have to do is keyframe the movement. So first I'm gonna move backwards a few frames and move the mask with it. Once you've keyframed the car entering in front of the text, now we're gonna go back to the middle where we created our mask originally and keyframe the car exiting. And we're gonna do that the exact same way by moving forward a few frames and moving the mask with it, keeping the mask tight to the car. So now once you've done that, it should look like the car is moving in front of your text. And then when you want your title to finally be taken away by like another car moving by or something like that, just you do it the same way I explained earlier by clicking on your polygon one mask and just moving your mask with whatever object you want to take away your text. So there you have it, the cinematic title reveal effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share with a friend so that they can put this effect in their videos too. So do you use a separate keypad to edit your videos? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I do. I actually picked one up a few weeks ago. It has changed my workflow in so many different ways. I can literally put all of my keybinds on one hand. I can scrub throughout my whole timeline super quick. I literally do not have to take my hand off of that keypad. I bought this one called the Razer Tortoise. It's literally a gaming keypad and I just remapped it all to where it works with DaVinci Resolve. So if any of you guys are interested in that, check the link in the description. I will put it down there. So if you want more videos like this that'll help you become a better editor, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But anyway, as usual, the video on the top is a video all about the easiest way to sync audio and video in DaVinci Resolve. And the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.